Hello and welcome to Archive North Wilkesboro Speedway. This is a tough one. Definitely uh, uh, in general and especially for me, I think. Um, these are like my kryptonite. These short tracks that are super bumpy and super strange and awkward. <laughs> um, and I think that's a fair assessment of how Wilkesboro is. Um, very uh, lumpy oval, I guess you can kind of call it. Um, rough surface. And uh, a short track, so lots of things uh, working against me here. Um, I'm like two tenths off the fastest guys, so we're gonna do our best to try to keep that gap at a minimum here. I found that I like entering hard high into turns one and two getting big on the brakes One more lap. and keeping it lower in three and four that's about as good as I've been able to do in fact it is 667 that'll be my best lap ever and uh, obviously we got plenty of people finishing ahead of me still at that rate so we'll see we'll see what happens this race but I'm not expecting too much I had a pretty good Three and four there, I felt like. Eh, maybe not. Maybe right about average, but you can see we're falling. We're back to eighth. Um, this is going to be a race of survival. That's all I'm really hoping for here. 4.3k strength of field, so we got very strong competitors to go up against here today. Um, we are the number five car. So I think, uh, I think if I can get a top ten, I'm happy with that. Keep it clean, top ten would be a success. Anything more than that is just even better. I'm gonna do a couple laps around here just to get the feel. As much practice as I can get will be <laughs> always helpful. It does want to snap on the exit, as you saw there. Um, if you get on the throttle a little bit too hard. These cars aren't uh, all that powerful, but enough to where if you got wheel in it and throttle in it at the same time on the exits, it'll uh, it'll get you. You gotta be careful with that. Ease onto the throttle. I don't know if uh, tire saving is gonna be anything at all. It does feel like we're getting on the right front really hard, but the end of the session. P9. is that gonna matter? I don't know. Or maybe it'll be like a tire heat type deal. But we will end up P9. I don't know if that's it's better to be inside or outside, to be honest. But regardless, we are on the inside. And uh, hopefully in position to get ourselves that top 10 I wanted. And see uh, the field here. Lots of names we know. Hey, speaking of, there's Chad. Thanks. Good luck to him as well. So, of course, we got... Uh, Gavin Rupchant, Austin, um, Spencer's in here, Justin Yee, we qualify sixth. He's like about my pace, which is crazy, because my pace is not <laughs> where I'd like to be. Normally he's one or two up there. You got the eight, continuing to dominate the Arca series this season, coming out of nowhere. Um, qualifies ahead of Larry, and uh, just tons of people that uh, we recognize. Kina as well, in the 20 car, so... Let's get into the car before I miss the grid. We'll do session last lap and prepare for the fast repair in case we need it. Hopefully not. 4356. Sounds like it's uh, about where we are. It's a very strong field. Got to be careful early, especially on the inside when I got to put more wheel in it to avoid uh, getting a snap loose. You can get it on entry too if you overdrive the entry, so you gotta make sure you're getting on the brakes enough. Um, I actually put my brake bias at 66%. I started at 60% to get as much turn as I could out of the car, but uh, I was getting too loose on the entries. So, decided to move that up a little bit. 
We'll see how this goes. We've got Austin behind us, so... One left to green. Uh, he's a pretty good racer. I don't think I have to worry about him running to the back of us, although we could always end up with some horrible checkup or something, and uh, it could happen whether uh, it's even his fault or not. Again, looking to, uh, if we can, get a top 10, but mostly just have ourselves a clean clean race and see if we can finish where our pace allows us to. Not trying to do too much. Watching Aiden out of the pole, hopefully get a good jump. Oh boy. Car outside. Clear. Don't clip that grass, that would be bad. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, Don't hold snap your line. on exit. Stay low. He's hanging on to our outside, that's Spencer out Keep there. Low. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting the outside lane to be pretty good. Clear up top. I think he's backing off though for us to avoid being too wide for much longer. Justin Yi right in front of us says we've got some smoke. There must have been some sort of issue somewhere in the field. Oh, some jiggling up up ahead. Some wiggly jigglies. It looks like it out of the six, that camo paint scheme up there. That's a new fastest lap for Norman, 18.7. The lap time was at 18.9. Right behind Justin. Make sure we don't get in the back of him or anything. A little loose out of four, gotta be careful. That's a new fastest lap for Norman, 18.7. I'm also doing 10 to 1 steering ratio. I usually do 12 to 1 for everything, but really need to get turn out of this car, and uh, I felt that I needed that extra bit of uh, oomph in the steering wheel. Fastest lap for, for here. Ace. Wow, that camo car getting loose again. I think he's really getting those rear tires hot. Maybe just compounding on itself, getting worse for him. You've just done a 18.9. Going low, I don't think that's going to happen though. Lost a lot of momentum. Car inside. Oh, what this guy's Clear. doing. He's driving in to the inside from a mile away. I'm not giving them that lane. Being a 4300 FLS, you guys sure don't understand what car low means. Outside. Clear. Outside. Outside. Clear. Inside. Yeah, sorry. I guess we just have to get out of your way if you want to dive in from 100 miles back. Clear inside. My bad. No, man. If I'm at your door and you come down, that's a you problem. Car outside. I think it's a terrible way to race, if Still I'm being there. honest. Outside is clear. All right, we'll give him a little bit of his own medicine, Outside. though. Keep low. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. Two wide. Clear high. Outside. Oh my clear God, you're a brain dead. Car outside. Stay low. Sorry, just learning from the best. Clear high. So that guy's an asshole, like he usually is. I'll both stay behind you. Inside. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. Still inside. A eleven. Still there. 
Keep high. Really hard to pass here, it seems like. You get really tight on that inside line. Still there at the bottom. You're in the top ten. Clear inside. <laughs> I think a three and four is where I'm missing a lot. I just I'm struggling really hard to keep it down low. That lap time was eighteen point nine. Probably that brake bias. I probably should have just bit the bullet and went with the lower brake bias, but I was just worried I was gonna spin myself out. I cannot get this thing to turn, man. I think I need to stab the brakes more or something. I cannot get this figured out. That lap time was 19.2. Maybe I'm entering a little bit too low. And three and four. I don't know. Clear. They're entering much higher, so maybe that's what I need Inside. to do. Still there, hold your line. Lap car pitting. Still inside. Clear. Car inside. 19.3. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Still there, inside. Still there. It's holding me up real tight up high there. Just really struggling to try to get by. Still there at the bottom. I cannot get this thing to turn, man. Your lap time was 19.4. Stay high. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. P11. Still inside. Ooh, this is hard work. I can barely even talk. Concentrating Still so hard. Inside. Still inside. Still inside. Tenth position. Still inside. I cannot get this thing to turn in three and four. Coming up I know I keep saying it, but here. that is just my absolute worst nightmare right now. All right, oh my god, the 11 clear. nearly gets us. Clear. Inside. Still there. Still there. Coming up and hitting us. I really love diving in on the inside. It's looking like I need to stay lower in three and four. That lap was much better there. Heck, it was better when I did it in one and two there, too. Maybe I just gotta move lower down the track. Have it. P11. 11 still all over our bumper back there. 
lap time was at 19.4. Kind of getting the hang of it, I think, a little bit more where I need to be running. Now that I've got some room on my own, kind of feel out the track a little bit. You've just done a 19 kind of gone back to the higher line in 1 and 2. And then the lower line, I think I needed to be running lower here in 3 and 4. Oh, okay. Don't do that. That was really bad. He's going to be on our inside. He was close enough. Still there at the bottom. Still inside. This guy is just dragging him straight up into the wall. What are you doing, man? Stay high. Clear inside. Well, he gets by us, he kind of has to shove his way through, but fair enough. That's just short track racing as much as I don't like it. That's probably why I'm not good at this. That was a 19.5. So, 12th place, probably not going to get that uh, top 10 unless something happens ahead, but at least we've been able to keep it heading the right direction still. That was one of the two goals. We can get one of two here, which isn't so bad. Uh-oh. Try to stay off, man. Contact up ahead. You've just done a 19.5. That'll get corner for me. Uh, we got a bunch of cars ahead. This could get scary. We've already seen him make contact once before up there. And we got Gavin Rapchan right on our rear end, too. Well, that was a 19.6. Outside. Clear. I did not even expect to get those inside there. I guess just that the very different lines brought us together. Great job. Dead to go. Made him overdrive it, making him think I was going to dive it in. He's able to hold on to it, though. That was a 19.7. Inside. Clear inside. The high line just never seems to work in 3 and 4, so that's why I haven't really tried that too much. Man, they are fighting hard ahead. Uh-oh, are they going to make contact? They got really close on exit there. 11's running up and hitting him like he was doing to me. Uh, check up. That's really not good. Guy just turns down and hits the guy. Inside. 
Nothing I can do about that. Clear. Camo car just turned left and hooked the guy into the wall. Car outside. Clear up. That was really cool. Unfortunately, I think Gavin got into that too. Five laps to go. 14. We can move up. Okay, Colton. Push now. We can catch up here. That could have been worse. Whoa, the handling's a little weird. But uh, that could have been much worse. We were able to keep it heading the right direction. We unfortunately are going to fail our second goal now, too. Of, uh, ooh, of getting the top ten. But we weren't going to do that anyway. Oh, sorry, no, I meant my other goal of keeping it 0x. We weren't going to get the top ten no matter what. But that's okay. This is probably one of my worst tracks on high racing, along with I think like Hickory, which is a very similar type of place. Just never been good at these short tracks with the huge bumps that send you all over the place. Two laps remaining. You've just done a 19.8. Uh oh, something's going on up ahead. Is that a lead lap car or is that lap down? Flag. One more lap to go. Somebody sitting in the driving line with a broken car. White flag, one more lap. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Even if they are in the lead lap, we're not going to catch them anyway because they're still going. Ooh, that was a bit of a mess, but maybe not as much of a mess as I thought it might be. As expected, the 8 gets the win. Alright. 14th, not great, but... Hey, we're all allowed to have our not-so-good tracks. And this is definitely one of mine. So maybe tire saving was more of a thing. Let's see. 83, 87. So it really wasn't even uh, that bad. One of the last on the lead lap, but not much to be done about that. We were we would have been a couple spots better, but um, I wouldn't have expected that by you, man. That accident happened. Let's see That's some of these. Kind of a lazy attempt at a crossover. How are you driving like a tool? So zero X in the corner before I'm not gonna get oh you. Oh boy! A, so this was lap two. Unfortunately, got some I don't, I don't really like people behind, caught up in a spin. Nowhere to go for those guys near the back. There, the seven just doesn't turn in because he's the greatest driver on the service. Like every, every time I ever I think a guy with five thousand I rating would know like how to danger of getting wrecked if I'm not run his line. Attention to what you're doing. So, interesting. Yeah, but he's one of the guys that likes to start in the back and then just plow his way through and then act like he's a great driver. So, not too surprising. I don't know. I don't All know. these people I'm caught in a wreck because of him. But, um, in this race, I don't know, zero X. It was fight trying to get a position. Yeah, I mean, the 7 just doesn't I didn't do turn into the corner. To fight you to get wrecked, I don't know. But, all right. And I think Austin gets through, maybe? Yeah, Austin gets through, but the 4, nowhere to go. And then a couple more people get caught up in it. Just, or Larry getting into the wall a little bit. I mean, lap one, you Living drive hitting it the wall. The and have to take wheel out of it and go up the hill. And I have to adjust And that. here's where the, the six just be, shouldn't be right rear is the 11, really which collects us. All the time and it's, uh... Yeah, I think the six was trying to cut under there, but he just missed it. And he hits the right rear of the 11, which... Destroys him, and then once I'm heading into the corner here, there's no way I can turn out of the way. Hits me, and then thankfully, Gaffin's there. He's already left, but he saves me from going around more. This was uh, after racing with the uh, 
what's his name for a while. When was that? I didn't do it very well. I let my emotions get to me a little bit, driving into him the way he wanted to drive into me, which I shouldn't have done, but uh, wasn't too pleased. So where was he complaining? I turned down on him or something at some point. Who knows which one of these it is, because he's diving in every one of the times and he's going to blame the person in front of him for whatever, I don't remember, not letting him by. So he can't get the pass done. We're battling for a while. I'm sure that's why he lost his patience, but... I don't know when it was. I think it must have been earlier. I don't know. The eleven's running into me over and over again, though. I actually have no idea when it was. Why isn't that loading? Oh, there it goes. Is I looking at the wrong person? He has a very similar scheme to another guy. Oh, right, he's the 7. I was looking at the wrong guy. Okay, so it was earlier on. So he's going to get a run on the high line. Him doing it before was earlier than that. Right? I don't know. I can't find it. But there he is wrecking the 21. Like, I can't even find where he was complaining. I think it was right here. Like, this is the dive that you're upset about? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, seriously? You really think you could just drive it in and I just have to let you by? Yeah, what an asshole. So we give it back to him a little bit here in a minute. Pretty ugly, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, that was the end of the incidents, I think. I'm pretty sure we were on like lap 45. I don't think there's going to be much more to see. Yeah, we got caught in that late. Ooh, and then 14 running low. Oh, okay, that's what they were talking about afterward. Yeah, Larry was going for a crossover, but accidentally gets into the back of the 14, I guess. And unfortunately, the 14 wrecks. We're so far behind, though, we can't even pass this guy, even though he's blown his motor. Where did Chad finish? Ah, oh, he got caught in something. Yeah, 
All right, so we had that late caution, or not caution, but wreck, and it looks like that was it. So we'll look at the race results. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> pretty high strength of field, though. 43.56, and the 8 car gets the win, continues dominating the ARCA series lately. Um, we stink, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, we'll finish P14, lose 51 I rating, but... 4X isn't going to affect our 499 Class A. And uh, that will do it for this one, I guess. You can see a lot of the guys we know, unfortunately, did not uh, not do so well. Um, got Larry up in third, Justin up there in fifth, and then 13 on back is pretty much all the people we know, probably because they don't bully their way through the field a lot of the time. Not that all the guys up ahead do. Some of them are genuinely fast, but um, other guys got caught in wrecks. I think Gavin got caught up in one of our wrecks. I think maybe when I hit him, his car broke, which really sucks. Because I remember, like, a, a turn later, he somehow was, like, straight into the wall. What happened? Because I barely tapped him, I felt like. So he lap 45, the guy... Right hook Sam, and then unfortunately I, I just tap his tire. I think I hit his tire just right. It just broke it. He broke an axle or something because he gets into the next corner, and it, I don't think it turns. That really sucks. I clearly should have had more damage than he did, and yet I just got his tire perfectly wrong, I think. And he has to pull it over. That really stinks. So, pretty messy race. Um, I'm not good here, so uh, that'll probably be the one one race I do this week. I don't know, maybe I'll practice some more, but I don't know if it's going to get much better for me. That was a big loose moment. But, uh, alright, some short track racing in this one, and a little bit of everything you expect from that. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.